you are going to see AI preach at a church just as I have seen. Let's quickly check this out which happened in Germany at a Protestant church. In the house of God, everyone is welcome with open arms, even robots. Wow. Like it or loathe it, ChatGBT is part of society and now part of the congregation. Oh, no. As Germany's churches experience a drop in numbers of pastors, this church in the Bavarian town of Fürth has the answer by using artificial intelligence. During service, this avatar preached to more than 300 people for mass. Wow, can you imagine? AI preaching to 300 people at a local church in Germany. But can we really commune with robots? I was pleasantly surprised at how well it worked. But one thing I definitely missed, of course, was simply emotionality. Absolutely. Robots, they do not have emotions at all. There is something that I'm going to show you in scripture that points to this fact. Um, it was exciting, interesting, but for me it was too monotonous. The avatar spoke too quickly. Sometimes you couldn't really think in your head during the service. It wasn't personal enough. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. But you know what? People are very gullible. And if you want to introduce something to people, introduce it to them over a long time of period and suddenly you find people having to enjoy that very thing. There are many songs that are being played on radio today and they are played over and over. Some songs are really not nice, not good at all. But over time, people end up liking those songs, end up dancing to those tunes. So if they want to introduce AI to the churches and make them lead the congregation of God, over a long time, if those people are carnal, they will end up having to accept AI. I mean, where are we going with this? Do you see that we are really in the last days, child of God? Let's continue. So, in this church, worshippers are no longer inspired by the words of a preacher. And while some may say this is sacrilegious, the theologian behind it insists this is the future of worship. I would say 98% comes from the machine, generally speaking. And what we're going to see is an effort of us as human beings staying out of the church service. It doesn't work. That's the bottom line. And the Bible did indicate to us what is a church made out of? I told the artificial intelligence, we are at the church congress, you are a preacher. And the motto is, now is the time. What would a church service look like? And then it spits out a rough framework first. And then you say, okay, now why don't you do this introduction? And then she writes this introduction. And that goes on and on. You end up with a pretty solid church service, I would say. Whether you're a believer or not, the use of AI arguably brings services into the 21st century, allowing them to become more accessible and inclusive. But there's certainly no doubt it takes practice what you preach to a whole new level. With so many false churches out there, this is definitely a warning to you, child of God, that you may not attend church simply because it's fashionable, but you attend church with an aim to fellowship with God, not with an aim to go with the now, you know, to go with the ins, to go with the trends, to go with what's out there. Don't be fooled. Don't let AI become your pastor. You need to develop a relationship with God. You need to become part of a community that has a real pastor, not an AI machine or an AI avatar, which is projected on a screen with the sermon. I mean, this is what the Bible says. Let's just take a look quickly at what the Bible defines as a pastor or a shepherd in a church. In John 10 verse 11, the Bible says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. AI cannot lay down its life. It's a machine. You know, it's artificial. It's not real. Would you really want to become, you know, a, a member of a church that is led by AI? Really? You know, this is what the Bible goes 
on to say furthermore in Matthew 9 verse 36, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. One thing about pastors, they have compassion, they are loving. You can't expect AI to have compassion and love. They don't have emotions. These are robots. Please be one child of God. Become a child of God that is solely after the heart of God. Become a child of God that wants to grow in fellowship with Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God the Father, and be led by a human pastor. So can AI really pastor a church? The answer is no. AI was not meant to take over things that must be done by humans, things that must be done by pastors, real people who were created by God. If this message has really blessed you, please share it with someone and subscribe to my channel for more messages like this one.